Punch Your Girl 842 here today with a guest star, Sparkle Star 333. Hey everybody! And tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've seen Adventure Time before, before I got addicted, but I thought it was a very interesting show, especially because I walked into the middle of Death in Bloom when they were in the underworld, and I thought Finn was a walking TV. <laughs> But then one day in literature class, she got humiliated for watching Adventure Time, mm -hmm. and the the kids accused the show of being something for idiots on crack. Yes, and it was very sad. And I felt so bad for her that I decided to watch an episode and tell her what I thought. So I typed in Adventure Time full episode, and I got Wake Up. So I watched that, and I was like, what is this? But it leaves you hanging. Mm -hmm. So I watched Escape to the Citadel. And I was starting to like it, so I kept watching. And for some reason, I skipped James, too, and went straight to the tower. And when I saw Princess Bubblegum and how she was willing to take a punch to the face for Finn, I was hooked completely. I am now just as addicted to Adventure Time as Adventure Girl 842 here. Mm -hmm. I, I watched about 30 episodes in one night, and I have seven DVDs. That's amazing. Now, can you tell us a little bit about this painting? Oh, yes. Um, my birthday was recently, it was about a week ago, and when everyone asked me what I want, I said Adventure Time stuff. So, our, my good friend Emily painted this for me for my birthday present. Hey, Emily, good job, if you're watching this video. Mm -hmm. Well, before we begin, obviously Flame Princess is going to win. What? Well, it's true. She's obviously going to win. On behalf of Princess Bubblegum, bring it on. Let the debate begin. <laughs> Okay, so I'll start off with my first argument. So, Flame Princess is an innocent baby, and Princess Bubblegum was cruel-hearted, and so she locked her up in a cage. Well, Princess Bubblegum may have locked her up in the cage, but she did it for the good of her people. Flame Princess didn't know what she was doing. She could have burned down the entire kingdom. She had to control her somehow. Well, but, like, why didn't Princess Bubblegum take her to her school for gifted children? Well... Unlike Lemon Hope when she did that, Flame Princess was sort of uncontrollable. She, it was her elemental matrix. Besides, she didn't lock her up. She just gave her to her father. She didn't know what would happen. I mean, maybe she did, but she just said, control her power, not mm -hmm. lock her up. I don't think I can argue with that. So, now my next argument is that Princess Bubblegum has a calm nature. She never has a temper, unlike Flame Princess. Well, Flame Princess may have a temper, but she also has a kind heart. Because in the episode of Vault of Bones, it showed that she didn't really want to do, do Finn's way first. And like he, she didn't want to like um, do his way, but then all of a sudden, like at the end, she you thought she was going to burn him alive, and then... Like, she changed at the end, and it turns out that Flame Princess does have a good heart inside. Of course, Flame Princess has a good heart inside, but sure, it took work. Even though it makes her a good person, Princess Bubblegum had a good heart from the beginning. Even when she was born out of a puddle of gum, we know that she taught herself how to love and lead. And that's how she built the entire Candy Kingdom, from the grip of the Great Mushroom War. Mm -hmm. But we're not all perfect. People change. That's true, but... I can't argue with it. Alright, so my, for my next argument, I was thinking that Princess Bubblegum is kind of evil. Because on that one episode of The Lich, why did Princess Bubblegum cut Finn with scissors? Princess Bubblegum has, like, the brain of a genius. She must have known what he was going for when he wanted her gem. Because she knew the whole time that Billy was actually the Lich. That's why she tried to save him, even though it was too late. Oh yeah? Well, why would Princess Bubblegum be such a good princess? Because if she, like, hurts people, like, Flame Princess, like, was nice to Finn and stuff. He, like, she, like, really, really had feelings for Finn. Well, I have a two-part argument for that. The first part of the argument was, it was for his own good. Finn was acting like a maniac. He was trying to, like, grab her head. So she had to cut him. There was no other way. She only did it gently. And my second part argument was Flame Princess does hurt Finn, even though it's unintentional. True, but Finn was kind of doing it for Billy. You mean the Lich? True, but he was doing it to honor his hero. The Lich? In remembrance of his hero. 
True, but Princess Bubblegum knew that if he did this, even if he were to honor his hero, he'd be in danger. She wanted to save his life, even though she was too late. True. I can't argue with that. Well, Flame Princess craves revenge for her dad. Like, sure he was mean, but so was Finn's dad. And Princess Bubblegum risked an extremely painful punch to the face to show Finn that revenge never gets you anywhere. Yeah, but even though Flame Princess has a cruel dad, she can't really control it. I mean, Flame King was terrible at the start, and she, she had no control over that. But she did overthrow him and taught him a lesson. But Finn wanted to teach a lesson, too, and Princess Bubblegum tried to show him that it was wrong. But both of our arguments show that it's like a sign of revenge. Like, both of our arguments like have revenge in them. Because, like, Flame Princess wants to take revenge on her father, while... Finn wants to take revenge, revenge on his dad, so... So Fli Princess Bubblegum managed to show Finn that revenge is wrong, while well, well, his Flame Princess, like, craves it. But Prince Flame Princess had a good reason to do that. She wanted to do it to save her kingdom of not being uh, corrupted by evil. Well, that's true, but... But this still doesn't prove that Princess Bubblegum is bad, because in... So she was trying to teach Finn that revenge against a person, you don't give a person a taste of their own medicine. It's true princess, that Flame Princess was trying to save her kingdom, which is good, but it also doesn't prove that Princess Bubblegum is bad. So are we like even on that one? I think that was a tie. Mm-hmm, that was. Okay, so for my next argument, I wanted to say, like you said earlier, how Princess Bubblegum cares for her citizens. Flame Princess does too, as revealed in Red Throne. And it shows, like, how kind-hearted she is and, like, how good of a kingdom she can, like, and how good her, like, she rules her kingdom. and shows her responsibility. That's true that she shows great responsibility, but it also shows that, like, that she does crave revenge a little. I mean, even though she brought fairness to the throne, she also used violence to achieve it. I mean, could you... Let me put this in real world, world terms. Could you imagine what would happen if every time someone made the kingdom fair, there was, like... Murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is true. Um, it just... Okay, so she may not have used violence, because we never really were revealed that, but she did the right thing by, like, I guess, freeing the kingdom of evil, because, like, like everyone was supposedly evil, but, like, the only person who was evil was, like, Flame King and Don John, I guess. So, like, it kind of proves... That she did a good thing. That's true, but I have a slightly related argument to that. Like, mm, she, when when she overthrew her kingdom, she sort of enlisted in help immediately. Uh, also, it was the help of Cinnamon Bun. But when Prince when Finn broke up with Princess Bubblegum, at least she didn't try to make him feel bad by getting another boyfriend. But Flame Princess is a girl on fire. What can be better than that? Well, really, it can get better than that because she's like a danger she can burn down forests with one touch and yeah but she is hot whoa you getting a punny on me mm -hmm. well bubblegum can get out of sticky situations <laughs> <laughs> oh god well that was a great princess debate thank you guys so much for watching and um i'm glad that my guest star come Yay. Thank you, everybody. Hope you liked it. Mm -hmm. Tell us down in the comments who you think won the debate. And don't let the scores fool you. Tell us who you think had better arguments. Yep. And we'll also add up the scores and get a grand total and see who won. So thank you all for joining, and we'll see you all next time. Well, before... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's... that's just, okay.